Good afternoon. On behalf of all of the students of the University System of Georgia, we thank you guys for this opportunity to be able to speak with you. I am Azelle Francis, and I am the Student Government Association President from Georgia Southern University, and I'll be beginning this presentation uh, just to give you guys a bit of an overview as to who we represent as we stand before you today. So the Student Advisory Council is comprised of student government representatives from all of the colleges and universities in the University System of Georgia. So we're a pretty big group of 31 active and very um, highly engaged students. Our purpose is to advise the Board of Regents through the Chancellor on issues that are critically important to students. So therefore, being able to be here today with you to talk about affordable learning Georgia and the cost of textbooks is definitely an opportunity that we appreciate. Hello, everyone. I'm Elijah Maurice from Middle Georgia State College. I'm the Student Government Association President. Um, Middle Georgia student population um, serve first generation college students. And as a first generation college student standing here before you, it's financially challenging, which um, means that students of first generation need to obtain financial aid, which also um, provides students with little um, disposable income. And for students at Middle Georgia State College, most students um, need around $600 a year to obtain textbooks for their courses. Middle Georgia saw these issues and they wanted to do something about it. They received grants from Georgia Learning, Affordable Learning, um, and we received $21,000 in grants for critical and contemporary issues in education, which is a book that is required for freshmen. And this textbook costs around $196, which would equal around $123,000 for students. Um, but due to the grants that we received, it will lower the cost for students um, and they no longer have to pay for that textbook. As well as an American government class that is a required course at Middle Georgia State College, which um, is a 90, which is um, an $89 textbook, which will equal around $37,000 for students to have to purchase. But due to the uh, grant that we received, now students don't have to um, purchase those books. Okay, so my name is Carrie Butler and I am the student body president at the College of Coastal Georgia. Um, we also have an initiative similar to that of Middle Georgia State, but something else I wanted to highlight in our brief time to speak with you is um, one of our schools, our School of Business and Public Affairs, their initiative um, to eliminate using textbooks and focus more on online resources and um, using those for case studies in our program literature. So um, I just, I really, I'm grateful for our program coordinator, Dr. Wickersham. She has um, taken a lot of effort to kind of con condense the materials that we've used rather than purchasing textbooks and using them once or twice a semester and really utilizing the online resources we have through Galileo and other things and utilizing those and up, uploading them onto D2L and other, what are the other ones, Blackboard? Right, okay, good, you all know what I mean, that's great. And utilizing those and uploading them for all students to use and have our reading available through that. And it's just, it's really been beneficial for us in our school specifically and for our college. It's something that we've definitely been working on and I just wanted to share that with you all. To sort of conclude our presentation, I'm just gonna go and share with you one of the initiatives from Georgia Southern Student Government Association. It's entitled the Eagles for Eagles Initiative. And one of our students this past semester, she was a single mother, um, she had three children, and it was her last semester of college. In order for her to be able to successfully complete Georgia Southern University, she had a balance of $450. This $450 was not due to courses or due to anything else, but rather the cost of textbooks. And this was after she had applied her available financial aid. Um, fortunately, we do have that program, so we're able to help her with those college costs and help her to complete. But that really highlights the importance of Affordable Learning Georgia and of keeping 
textbook costs down because it does play such an integral role in that whole idea of retention, progression, and graduation, which is a key component to that complete college Georgia. Um, one of the other things that we really wanted to touch on was that students at large, as the presenter right before us definitely highlighted, they're becoming very creative. We're becoming very creative. So as textbook costs go up, we find new alternatives, thankfully, to the internet and all the other alternative resources um, to enable us to be as successful um, academically without necessarily burdening the bank or that pocket. Um, so definitely, we appreciate the opportunity to be here. We appreciate being able to share with you just some perspectives, and we definitely agree with a lot of what you just shared. So thank you guys again, and that's the end of our presentation. system to enable something similar to, to just cut costs for um, students, but to also definitely make sure that you encourage that idea of continuous learning. Thank you. We can take some back to the rest of the Student Advisory Council as well. Thank you very much.